It's time to add our Twinkle Twinkle Melody now. So we're going to add another track. So go up to the tracks view in the top left, the big square with the two small squares on either side. And choose Smart Piano again. And you can see your chord strip view. So you go along to the right hand end in the middle and tap the red chord strip to open your keyboard view. And this time we're going to choose a different instrument sound just to have some variation in our track. So if you tap the grand piano in the middle of the screen and you can see lots of different keyboard sounds that you can choose from. On the left hand side, if you scroll down until you find other at the bottom there, and then you should see glockenspiel on the right hand side. So choose glockenspiel. Okay, and your keyboard view will change a bit and then you can tap done. And we're going to select section A now. So tap the plus sign at the end of the ruler and select section A. So your ruler starts with one and has one and two. And lastly, we need to mute the other tracks before we play our melody. So go up to the tracks view, the bricks in the top left. And you should now have your two piano tracks and your glockenspiel track down at the bottom. Turn on the headphones of the glockenspiel track so the other tracks will turn grey. And make absolutely sure that you, you have selected this bottom track. So we don't want either of the piano tracks, it must be the glockenspiel track that is selected. Okay, then you can tap the tiny keyboard in the top left to return to your keyboard view. So we're going to be using C4, which is just near the middle there, and the notes to the right of that. So you need to have C4 right up to A for your twinkle twinkle melody, okay? So section A notes are C, C, G, G, A, A, G. So I'm going to practice that along with the clicks. C, C, G, G, C, C, G, G, A, A, G. Okay, and when you're confident, you can record. Remember to tap return. Check, double check that ruler is number one and two and that your ruler is black, it's empty. And then tap record. C, C, G, G, A, A, G. Okay, so my ruler has turned green now, but if you want to re-record, remember you can just tap return and re-record over that again as many times as you need to. When you're happy with your section A melody, we'll go to section B, so tap the plus sign. Select section B. And then when you exit, double check your ruler. It should be numbers three and four and it should be black so that it's empty and we're still on the empty track, okay? So the notes for section B are F, F, E, E, D, D, C. I'll try that with the clicks. F, F, E, E, D, D, C. And now I'll just record that. So I'm tapping return to get my arrow back to the start and here we go. So when you're happy with section B, let's go to section C, tap the plus sign, select section C and just double check your ruler it should be numbers five and six and it should be empty, it shouldn't be green. Okay, so the notes for section C are G, G, F, F, E, E, D. I'll show you that with the mouse. G, G, F. Okay, I'm going to just try that with the clicks. G, G, F, F, E, E, D. And once you've practiced and you're ready, tap return. And here comes the recording. G, G, F, F, E, E, D. 
Okay, so that's all of our melody sections complete. We're going to tap the plus sign, select all sections, and that ruler should start from one and finish at six, and it should all now be green. Okay, then tap your tracks view, the bricks in the top left. And there's our melody, our green sections. And we're just going to quantize this track. So tap the track controls, the volume sliders. Then up at the top track settings, quantization, straight, and quarter note. And all those notes will just jump exactly in line, not only with the ruler, but importantly, with all the other notes that we've recorded in the other tracks. So if they're all in line with the ruler, they're going to sound good together. Okay, so you can then tap track controls to exit that menu. Turn off your headphones of, on the glockenspiel track and put that glockenspiel up to full volume. And then if you tap return, you can listen to what you've got so far. Fantastic, well done.